بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما لمتنا وزدنا علما يا رب زدنا علما اللهم أمين My brothers and sisters we are on our last episode Positive Islamic Psychology A Transcendent Model to Achieve Peace, Happiness and Success in the 21st century and inshallah for ages because this is Islam we are trying to follow the Quran Sunnah inshallah um, this is uh, we're trying to, to do da'wah to the world our communities are in need of support we are faced with challenges in the 21st century that some of our are unprecedented the rise of the LGBTQ community and how it affects through their propaganda how it affects our children our, our marriages, um, all kinds of political issues, instabilities around the world, wars, famine, uh, disease. The world is in need of a solution like it was in need before. When the Prophet ﷺ came, the world was in darkness. The thing is the Prophet ﷺ passed away. We know that. But Allah tells us that he will die and you will die. But are you going to turn on your heels the responsibility of continuing the da'wah of the Prophet ﷺ rests upon our shoulders. Every single one of us. When we looked at the four principles, we talked about knowing Allah and the universe, knowing ourselves, our nature, human nature, uh, knowing the job that we have, being the Khalifa on the earth, and then the learning theories. And we need to find ourselves as to what can we do personally, to help and to solve the problems of the world. Position yourself as a solution to the world's problem. It doesn't have to be the whole world. Are you going to be able to, you yourself, change, uh, you know, to, to affect climate change? Maybe not, but maybe you can influence and maybe as a group we make ta'awun and maybe there will be uh, small changes that we do together, that we put together and become big changes. But what you could do, in your small microcosm, whatever it is, your community, if you are someone who helps others, if you are someone who's qualified, if you are someone who understands the principles of Islamic psychology and counseling based on Quran and Sunnah, studies the seerah of the Prophet وسلم, and connects to those incidents where the Prophet used to train the Sahaba, used to advise them, used to deal with uh, you know, marriage issues, with divorce, with marriage, with... Uh, a war with conflict with a famine sometimes right with orphans the everything is addressed in the quran and sunnah we need intellectuals muslims who fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who are not going to change the religion the deen who are not going to compromise the principles to dig deep and connect into the seerah of the prophet and the quran and sunnah and connect to such models and to qualify and to bring about the change in our community, to, to counsel those who are suffering, who are traumatized, who have gone because of the lack of practice, be it their families, be it their spouses, be it whoever it is, the world at large, oppression on every level, they're suffering. People have suffered trauma. And trauma is not a joke. Mental health issue is not a joke. Weakness of Iman is not a joke. Depression, anxiety, if you've never uh, suffered it or understood it, is not a joke. And that's why we need to connect. We need to help. This is our da'wah. This is our objective in life. Everyone has to do their job. Some people will be doctors. Some people will be teachers. Some women will be nurses. Some others will be just housewives. Everyone needs to find out what can I do that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's halal, and that I could help those around. Not everyone will develop the cognition, the ability to wake up and understand what we've said and say, hey, you know what? I understand how we're influenced. I can see how the environment is, is working on me. I can see how my total past learning history has affected me to develop a negative feeling and a failure in my life as opposed to a positive, right? And I can understand now how to use Islam, Quran, and Sunnah, apply it, not just theoretically, in application within the rules, within the boundaries to drive change into the world. The world is in need of Islam. The world is in need in you of you. The Prophet said did his job. Now it's our turn to continue this banner and to change the world towards Islam, towards the truth, 
الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. May Allah subhanahu wa bless all of you. Please check out the links in the description again and the book and of course the notes, the ebook that can be downloaded from the website. All the links are in the descriptions. Insha'Allah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa to bless our Muslims all over the world and to forgive all of us. Forgive me and forgive all our brothers and sisters. To have mercy on Brother Muhammad and Mahdi Jenkins and to protect our brother Abdul Aziz bin Azimullah and all the other people and the Muslims all around the world. Allahumma khfirli wal muslimina wal muslimat al mu'minina wal mu'minat al ahiya wa minhum wal amwat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of us. Wa salatu wa salam Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa salam taslima kathira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.